What's going on everybody? Uh, normally, we're going to talk a, a little bit about different type of kettlebell swings, cleans, and snatches. Um, normally, everybody's swinging the traditional between the leg stuff. What happens is, you get set up in that position and that's what your body gets used to. Um, we're actually going to go and train in a different, different stance. We're going to do a close stance with feet very, very close together. And we're going to do an outside of the body stuff. Um, a lot of this stuff, um, Mike Mahler has been doing a lot of this stuff for a long time. I find it to be very beneficial, especially for kettlebell sport athletes that are so used to being in their traditional stance. Um, they're generating power from this position. So what I like to do is color outside of the box and make sure that you're strong in multiple different areas. So even a foot width wider is gonna change everything. I like to train there. I like to do sets of jerks and presses and swings in that position. I also like to go inside a lot. And I really like this because it works a little bit more on stability in the torso and it makes you think a lot differently. So one of the biggest things about kettlebell sport and all its functional movement patterns is making your, sure that you're connected to your muscle, uh, making sure that you can move the muscle, use the muscles to move your levers, your bones, in the right way and be quick at it. So I like a lot of close stance stuff. Um, the thing about close stance swings and, and other you know forward hip bends and things is that people's bicep femoris, which is the outside hamstring right down here, that is awfully tight. And when you're standing in a wider stance, that muscle is actually short and when you're, it's easier to bend for people to bend in this position because that muscle is shortened. So when we go in this position and we start bending, to keep that flexing at the hip, you can feel a lot on the outside. So this, if you're not really flexible in the, in the bicep femoris and the outer hamstring, you might want to loosen that up a little bit before trying a lot of this stuff. But anyway, um, so what we're going to do is we're going to add into some swings, some cleans, and some snatches uh, outside of the body. So let's first start with the outside of the body, outside of the leg swing. So I'm taking two 40 kilogram kettlebells. My feet are pretty close. I'm not knocking my knees together. I have a slight external rotation in my hips. Like I said, you gotta work on the stability. So what we do is a nice stiff deadlift. I'm gonna swing back. And now, there's a slight bend in the knees on the back swing. I'm driving through my whole foot. And you can see it's a pendulum. Here, from the side, you can see the slight bend. It teaches a little softer absorption with the knees. I'm not letting the kettlebells, I'm not letting the arms swing past parallel with my torso. They're not going up here. I'm definitely not doing, I see some people doing these where they're, they're just kind of swinging real high up. It's not a swing. We're working on keeping the arms to be parallel with the spine and driving through. Get that pendulum motion. So there's the swing, the outside of the leg swing. We're going to move into the outside of the leg clean. 